What's good, y'all, man? Looks like Georgia Tech is slated for the 8 p.m. kickoff when they play Duke in two weeks from now. Will be another late night for me. Uh, obviously, I'll go to the game. Game will probably be over like 11 o'clock. Then the press game, post-game press conference with Coach Key, six of his players. So it'll be a lot of fun, man. Um, and this will be actually on ACC Network. Hold on, let me show y'all. As y'all can see, it is right here via ACC.com. These are going to be the notable games Saturday, October 5th. Boston College, Virginia. Wake Forest, NC State, Virginia Tech, Stanford, Duke, Georgia Tech, then Miami at California. 10.30 p.m. kickoff. I'm definitely going to watch that game after the Georgia Tech. We'll probably won't be back until probably halftime of that game, but that is the kickoff. And again, I'll tell you guys this. Uh, AC Network, that is their primetime slot. That 8 p.m. Um, kickoff, that's like pretty much their high key, their marquee game. So the fact that they're back here again, uh, was here earlier in the season, uh, August 31st against Georgia State. I think that says a lot. I think that says a lot about what Georgia Tech's doing and building. And I know some people are going to fall off the train and fall off the boat because they're 3-2. and two. But again, man, they're building. You're not going to have it all in one year, right? Like Coach Key said, and they said on ESPN broadcast, they probably are a little early. And that's good, right? You're still building this program. You're getting the right pieces. You're getting the right players. You just want to have a good season. You want to be competitive, and you want to be able to comp compete in the ACC. And I think they can answer and check off all of those boxes. This is a very competitive team. And I stand on what I said. Now, I know I had some people comment on a Louisville versus Georgia Tech reaction. I stand on what I said. I still think Tech's a better team than them. That's just my opinion. I think without those two turnovers or that turnover by King and then obviously that field goal block, I think they beat them. Nonetheless, they lost. <clears throat> defense gave up a lot of passing yards, but I thought they played an overall pretty good game. And defense only gave up 17 points. You know what I'm saying? But should be a great game between, obviously, Duke and Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech will be able to get healthy. Um, offensive line that performed the best in these AC games, so they're going to need them to perform at a high level so they can move the 4-2 and two and be 2-2 two and two in the ACC. So big time game coming up, man. We'll see what, the, what they're able to do, see how they can handle it, man. But I wanted to give you all that notice. Georgia Tech is set to play 8 p.m. primetime slot, and it just shows the uh, program that Tech is building. And I think five of their last six games have been in primetime at home for the Yellow Jackets. So, hey, that says a lot. All they got to do is keep doing their thing, man. And uh, it don't get no easier from here. They got tough teams down the road. Notre Dame, Georgia, Miami. Doesn't get any easier. But you got to handle your business. We'll see if October could be a good month for them. And they can start it off right. That's my thoughts, man. Y'all tune in. I'll have more coverage in a few weeks. And check out my article on SI from Ethan Hauser, who uh 2027 guy. 2-0. Um, and has a Georgia Tech offer.